Brothers and sisters, from the moment we Muslims enter this world, it seems that they want to steal our rare essence, the most important thing we have, our Iman or faith. Today we witness weak Imans among Muslims. Indifference in prayer, dry eyes that do not get wet for Allah, hearts that are like stone, and as a result, a lazy and unsuccessful Muslim. Yes, all this is not a coincidence. They want to steal your faith and mine. They want to weaken you and me so that we will not be able to fight against them. But you might say that they cannot do it by force. Yes, they will weaken you, not by force, but by different strategies. Now you might say, who do you mean by them? I mean Shaitan and his followers. However, the modern world has an arsenal of traps that make this journey very challenging. In this video, I am here to shed light on three harmful habits that prevent Muslim men and women from realizing their full potential, from living according to the teachings of Islam. So, the first one is procrastinating. It's a challenge we've all faced at some point, that insistent whisper urging us to put off our responsibilities, even when we know we should act. In this modern world, the temptations of procrastination are stronger than ever. Our faith teaches us that time is a gift from Allah, and yet it's often squandered, stolen by the allure of procrastination. We must realize that procrastination doesn't just delay tasks. It postpones our progress, our spiritual growth, and our journey to be better Muslims. Take a moment to reflect on this. You're here because you want to strengthen your faith, be more devout and lead a life that aligns with your beliefs. Yet, procrastination stands in the way like a barrier to your spiritual aspirations. But here's the powerful truth. Procrastination is not a destiny that Allah has decreed for you. It's not an inherent part of your character. You are not toxically lazy, but rather you have the potential to rise above it. Your desire to improve, to draw closer to Allah, to become a better servant. That desire is a sign of your faith's strength. Procrastination is the adversary that deceives us into thinking we have time to delay our acts of worship, to delay our prayers, to delay our good deeds. It's a distraction from our purpose, and it keeps us from freely embracing our faith. But my dear brothers and sisters, it's time for a transformation. Today I want you to understand that procrastination is not your friend. It's your spiritual enemy. It steals precious moments that could have been spent in prayer and charity in good deeds, and in the remembrance of Allah. You have the power to change your destiny. You are not bound by procrastination. You are empowered by faith. It's time to recognize the urgency of the moment, to awaken your faith's passion, and to break free from the chains of procrastination. Let's take pride in what we can achieve in our faith, not tomorrow, but today. Our Lord is the most merciful, and He invites us to draw near to Him at every moment. Don't let procrastination be the barrier that keeps you from Allah's mercy. Envision a life where your faith flourishes, your good deeds multiply, and your closeness to Allah deepens. The time for action is now. Your faith deserves your unwavering commitment. Your devotion deserves your attention, and your spiritual potential deserves your pursuit. Don't delay any longer. The time to act is today. Seize your spiritual journey, and together, Let's conquer procrastination with our unwavering faith. Your faith is a treasure, and it's worth every effort you invest. Remember, the time to make a change is today, and it begins with taking action to strengthen your bond with Allah. The second one is extremely distractive. The allure of Instagram and TikTok. We've all been there, haven't we? Those moments when you open your app with a simple intention, but before you know it, hours have passed and you're entranced by a world of endless videos and distractions. In this modern age, the pull of social media is stronger than ever. These platforms are designed to captivate your attention, to consume your time, and it's easy to fall into the trap. But what you may not realize is that it's not just your time that's slipping away. It's your precious moments of life. It is your faith that weakens when you see a half-naked body. It destroys your brain and blackens your heart. Haram is haram, don't make excuses. You're here because you aspire to be a better Muslim, to strengthen your faith, and to lead a life in line with your beliefs. Yet, these platforms can divert you from your path of spiritual growth and self-improvement. But here's the profound truth. 
You are not destined to be a passive observer in your own life. You are not here to merely watch others' stories. You are here to create your own, to grow, and to make a meaningful impact in the world. You can take pride in what you can achieve as a devout Muslim. Instead of being a passive observer, envision a life where your faith is strong, your character is exemplary, and your actions are a testament to your beliefs. The time to act is now. The time to redirect your focus is today. Seize your potential and let's conquer this distraction together. Your faith is worth every effort you're willing to invest. Uninstall those damn apps right now. The last bad habit is poor communications. Today I see people who like to be alone. And this loneliness is not for a day or two, but forever. Studying alone, working alone, quiet, cold, and generally a lonely person. What is your purpose with this, bro? Sometimes there is an excuse that people outside are not good people. Yes, I agree, the good people are rare in today's world, but every person has both good and bad inside him, and you should experience both. You have to be betrayed in order to gain experience, bro. You have to fall down and get up. You have to know the good and the bad of the society and protect yourself from it. If you don't do it today, tomorrow, when you grow up, you will have to communicate with people outside. And if you don't have experience, then it will be difficult to get up. You must be a strong Muslim, an influential person in the family and society, not a secluded Muslim in the corner of the house who does not even know the neighbor. Go out, walk, say salam, smiley, Give charity, behave well, and let the world see that you are a Muslim. Show the world that Islam means good manners and behavior. Find good people, communicate with them so that they will be by your side in difficult days. Remember, these habits are not destiny, and they are not a part of your character that you can't change. Your faith is a treasure, and it's worth every effort you invest to protect and nurture it. The time to act is today and it begins with taking action to strengthen your bond with Allah. Join us in our quest to strengthen our faith and live as better Muslims. Subscribe and stay connected to our journey of self-improvement. Let's conquer these challenges together.